Okay, so here we are in 18 mechs. We just finished uh, the first couple of operating rounds and the stock rounds as well. And the, the, the first and second stock round as well. Um, first couple sets of rounds, as it were. And um, some of the railways have started building out. The, pri the miners haven't really been connected up yet by... Uh, any kind of mechanism. I've seen some opportunities to do so. But the biggie is the first three train came out over here, which enabled him uh, to basically rape the company and set it up to dump it on a player who took a chance that probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I thought this game had better uh, uh, better padding on it <laughs> to prevent people from making that mistake. But nah, if anything... It, it even kind of fooled me uh, by being harsher, in a sense. Uh, yes, the harshness is tempered down, but the fact that it is tempered made it possible where I wouldn't have normally made that kind of mistake. So we're on the stock round, and priority is way over here. People have enough money to buy something. Uh, the question, of course, is what? Everything's at its par values again, so there's no real advantage. Here's the problem. This is obviously being raped. The 60 bucks that I have would be a waste if shares are going into here and the price is going to get dumped. So we're just going to pass. And so are the other two holders of miners. We're all in exactly the same situation financially. Everything's making the same money. Um, all the miners are making the same money. All the majors are making six bucks a share, except for this sucker, which only made five. But it's going to go up. It has two trains on it. There are a couple of companies with two trains. This is sort of the big thing, is that two of the companies bought a second deuce. That allowed this to happen, but the tendency in an 18xx game is to try to run for big money early. And eh, those two trains, well, they're not that cheap. The threes are always much cheaper. But it seemed like a, an idea at the time. Um, we'll see, we'll see how it all plays out, uh, but this guy is paying the cost at least temporarily. So we come through, pass this through, we're going to sell off all of our shares of the, oh, somebody might have wanted to sell a Pacific and try to exchange it just because he's holding a Pacific, um, but it'll probably recover whatever value it has, so it's no big deal. So we are going to sell are four shares of the Texas Mexico because that's going down so much that we want to get rid of all of it. So that all goes here. The presidency switches. Four shares, 460 is 240. One, two, three, four. 240 bucks, 250, 300. Now let's think about our other shares, both of which are in companies with two, two uh, trains each. So they're not bad things to hold on to. They're going to make good money. What do we have? We have $400, $500. We have enough to start a company at 90 uh, and buy five shares of it, which is probably what we want to do. Which company is it going to be? This is where the hard call comes. This thing could go in with, uh, you know, it could hook up much more easily. But I like the dots over here. And I think there are other advantages. There's a town here. Uh, by dots, I mean tokens, um, not these dots. These dots are accessible to both. There's a dot here, which is kind of appealing. But I think the Southern Pacific is the railway I want to buy. So I'm going to start that at the big 90. And so for 180 bucks, I buy a second presidency. With 45, or with 40% of the company sitting here in the market, I'm going to be able to pay out and pull good money in. So it's not that terrible a thing that I got this dumped on me. It has a little bit of cash. It has some income coming in. I think it'll work. You know, like I said. It may be like the B&O in that 
it's B and O is usually the first company dumped. Now the B and O is in a very special location. I don't know if this is in that special location. Plus, its tokens have been used up. It's definitely been neutered more than I would like. Uh, of course, I have this, which gives me an opportunity to build into there if I so desire. I would love another company, preferably that one, but I don't have that kind of money in hand. Um, I do have the National Railways of Mexico available to me, though, which is of some value. I have enough money to buy a share of something. I don't want to buy a second FCP. <laughs> But a, a Chihuahua doesn't sound like a bad idea. And picking that up for 80 bucks fills out my portfolio. What I don't want to do is buy the Texas Mexico out of here because those are going to be making the company money. And I don't want to buy them out of here because I'd be losing 20 bucks a share on them right off the bat. So this seems reasonable. Other people have some money now. And those Texas Mexicans are the only thing they can fucking afford. So they start getting scooped up. They're probably not going to make money. They're probably going to be swallows if they all get eaten up. But that hurts someone else and I get to hold on to a share. Uh, it may make some money. It probably won't lose money overall uh, over the course of several rounds. It'll probably be paying out, especially while runs are kind of low. Um, it's just would have been nicer from this guy's point of view to be, you know, putting that money into the treasury. Uh, but alas, nobody's gonna allow him to get away with that. So now, there's only one certificate left in the market. This guy's going to fill out his Southern Pacific. That's going to drop priority here. Uh, I don't see anything else happening. No, I don't remember. Yeah, it was uh, over 500. Yeah, um, I've got 62 bucks left over here on the president of the Southern Pacific, but there's nothing I can buy. I can't buy the Trans-Mexican because I sold them already. I could have held one of them. That would have dropped the price less. It might have been a good idea. Uh, but on the other hand, having that extra cash will allow me to invest next operating round more easily. So we move uh, 900 bucks in here. And I think we're ready for the operating round. We slide into the green spot. Remember, green track can be laid now as upgrades, but you can only lay you can only upgrade one tile, whereas you can build two new ones. Uh, some other games have done this. You know, I, I think uh, the old the the old 29s may have done this, but uh, I don't have them, and I'm not as familiar with them. I know 1870 and a number of more recent designs have had that, yeah, if you're building yellow, you can build two of them uh, concept. Um, some of them have you pay money to build that second track, which is a little weird. Some have you pay money to build all track, uh, which kind of makes sense. We'll take care of the privates, then the miners. Notably, these guys pay into here, and then... He's into here. <coughs> All right. Uh, on, on to the miners then. A is first. It has 30 bucks. That's still not enough to build this. So we make our 15 and 15 again. It should work like that. Uh, B, some of, some of these are going to be able to buy. So B has enough money to lay its track. It wants to do that. Oh, I hope I didn't fuck up with Matzelin. I bet you I did. Son of a bitch. No, it's on a corner. It's on a corner. So 
Uh, it builds on a corner too. All right. The, yeah, this is just a screw up. Let me uh, let me replace this with a straight because I just did not see that. Um, now it's a minor company, so it can only lay one track. So this is the best that it does, and it makes the 15 and 15 payout. Which goes 25. Uh, these weird fixed tracks all over the place uh, that you can't tell just by looking at the board. Like, normally when there's fixed track uh, that has to be laid for something, uh, there's only one way it can go. And since these others, so like this one, was pointed nowhere, and I think could only go this way, right? I, yes, it could only go this way. Uh, Tampico, so this is the weird one. Tampico points at a corner, so it has to align either this way or this way. And then I had thought they all pointed at corners so I would be able to arrange them however I want. That's not the case. So that mistake uh, was caused by some weirdness in terms of like the decisions on how, how the track uh, <laughs> would be represented in the game. Um, so yeah, this builds does not lay uh, anything down. Now, yeah, to tell you the truth, knowing this, I, I would go here instead. So I'm actually going to do this, because that lets me swing through here. It costs me an extra 20 bucks, but it gets me another doink. And doinks are good in this game. Normally you want to avoid doinks. Again, a sort of a weird uh, trying to align and figure out how this game actually works. So let's go on to C. C has enough money to build Oxacaca. Uh, I could be building track out to Acapulco, but I'm not going to have the money to do that. So I think I'm just going to go down towards Guatemala here. And we'll hope that things are set up correctly. Okay, so this one actually I just use normal track for. Uh, kind of doesn't matter. So let's look at the Pacific. Do I want to do a sharp turn? Not particularly. So I'm going to play this piece, which may limit other people's capability to build track that they want to instead of taking advantage of this little weird gray doinker there. <coughs> and that's going to run also for 15 and 15. Put that down. Okay. These aren't going to last much longer, I guess. Uh, they shut down there, so... <laughs> they don't do a hell of a lot. I'm not that convinced that they... Like my initial feeling with them, I'm not convinced that they're worth all that much. You know, the fact that I was able to dump these in for 1.5 times their value, which should have been two, uh, feels like a bigger deal than these things. Now, I did have to wreck a company to do that, which, or at least partially, uh, which works out fine in 1830. Even if you're holding the company, you can always balance it out and whatnot. Uh, so our first company is going to be the Southern Pacific because it's got the highest stock value. And what do I want to do with that? I don't know. I don't have a hell of a lot of... Uh, of uh, things I terribly want to do, I think I'll play this for 20. This I have control over. So I'll go up here. Gives me 80 bucks back. And I could buy multiple trains. 
three trains tends to be a really bad choice. I also am not going to be able to run two of them very effectively. Yes, I could run a three train between here and here and another one up this way, but it just makes more sense to me to only buy one given, uh, given the overall money situation and the tightness of money, even though I have a ton of cash on this company. Uh, now, I go back in value. I'm going to flip this over because other companies are going to go on top of it now. It didn't run, but... <coughs> and it didn't lose money, so that's essentially the way... That, that probably is the way you should be doing it every time. Uh, so that's that for the Southern Pacific. Now we hit the Mexican. The Mexican's only running a single two. We probably want a three. Um, our two will be running here still. Ah! Didn't have a train, so no, no biggie. 20 bucks into the Mexican for the mail run. Gotta remember that mail run. That's that's the hardest thing is when they insert, you know, totally new steps in in, in the game uh, that have to be followed. Now, the A has forty bucks, so I could hook this up if need be, which means that I can make more money, more problems. Uh, by either upgrading Veracruz, which probably turns into a 30, or Mexico City, which turns into a 40, but it'll cost me 60 bucks to build. I think we're going to do this early. Why not? So there's 60 bucks, and I gotta be careful, there's some grays in there that I can't really see very well. Some of the games have come up with little barriers, I think the Australian one, little barriers that you mark stuff like that, although I think they're for something else actually, they're for... Okay, so I owe 60 from here, which gets me 15 back. I don't really think I need a dot in Mexico City. I don't know. But usually it's worth it uh, to hold off on that kind of decision because I may end up with a, a much longer run. Although the big trains in this game only hit four stations. However, the longest trains hit six. Got to be a five in there too. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'll run my two train. Um, 10, 30, 40, 80. We'll pay out because we're planning on buying another train. So uh, Nobody has Mexican except me. I have five shares. Eight times five is 40. Make that 50. And now I buy a three train. Again, I only want one. More than one seems dangerous. And we put that over here. And uh, the next company is the Chihuahua. And again, I don't have to worry too much about the privates. There aren't many. Only one person has any now. Um, Okay, the Chihuahua first gets its 20 bucks. Hey, you know, that's not a lot of money that's coming in. It's useful and everything, but it's like having a share in the open market. It's, it's probably not going to make a big difference in the game overall. Now, my plan was to hook up the B down here. So I've got to pay 20 bucks. To put, and yeah, I know, 
I made decisions after this. If I was playing an opposed game, there's no way that I would break both of those. I would probably have done the, hey, let me go straight in. You know, <laughs> I didn't understand the tile. Now, do I want to hook up this next one? Well, I can't do an upgrade because I've already laid a track. So the answer is, sure, why not? And now I'm running two deuces. One of them here for 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, can't go through. So the Chihuahua will be making 11 a share. I have decent money on there. Might as well pay out. Might want another train. Two twos and a three isn't usually bad. So 11 a share for the Chihuahua. That creates some cash for everyone. And I'm sorry how detailed I'm playing this. I don't usually continue this way this far into the game. But I feel like there's more going on here and maybe I just want... Uh, so he only has four shares. So that's 44. 54. Uh, tokens, trains, no room for tokens. How about trains? Trains is interesting. So right now I'm running a two, a two. I could conceivably branch out and get another train in there. That would make this a big money company. I think the answer is yes. I may regret this. But I tend to push trains pretty hard in most games. And I think there's an advantage here where I'm going to be able to hit Mexico City uh, by turning that into green. Because unlike in 1830, these things upgrade to other things. Okay. I need a quick break. That's going to put it on the FCP. FCP has the big... Um, City, so they get 30. And now I'm running a pair of deuces here as well. Kind of having trouble reading these yellow twos. I'm glad they're green. I'm glad they're color coded because if there were two things, those yellows are kind of hard to read for me. Um, okay, so I will be running one here for 60, and then the other, I guess, to here. I could go down to La Mochis. So I could actually do better. Um, let's take a look at what Matsalon looks like. So Matsalon looks like this when it upgrades to brown. Here's the problem. I have to put my dot in Lamochis if I want to run my two train between here and here. That only adds 10 bucks to my run. So it's probably not that good. Which means, I think I want to upgrade this, to tell you the truth. Well, this will get me just as much. The B company will be benefited by it, though. At the very least, they'll be able to hit another doinker. Do I care? No, I don't, I, I don't get any extra money by doing that. Yeah. Um, so I want to put a green track in. I don't see any reason to go here into the desert. Uh, I'm not going to be able to use this little piece of track twice. I own this dot. So I'm going to look for a special K. I don't have to pay for this track. Which always seems a little weird to me. There's a lot of things that are very abstract and, and unbelievable, perhaps. In, uh, oh, is Hermadillo a, a town? See, this is the problem. So, like, Granda Yahara, where is this? I don't know. I don't see it on the board. So 
So Lamochus is going to have one of these, which means you kind of have to look everywhere. So that's Hermosillo. I think the towns that have something special need to be distinguished better than they are. I don't know where Guadalajara is. There it is, Guadalajara, right? No, that's, this is, oh, it is. It's badly printed even. Yeah, so this is going to upgrade to this, which is better than this. It's a guarantee upgrade, but there's nothing in between. So there really should be something to mark that this space is special because there's just normal yellow track on there and that's going to upgrade normally if I'm not careful. <coughs> uh, definitely a problematic design decision. So where the hell am I? I just upgraded this. I get to run, I, I hope I made my mail run. I get to run for 60 and 60 is 12 a share with the Pacific. Um, I could run a three train down here, but without this dot, if I had an extra dot, I would get more, uh, more valuable runs. But as it stands, I don't know if I want to spend that dot there to try to improve my run. Anyway, I forgot to hand out my money. Uh, 12 a share. 15, 25, 12 a share. This is 12 a share. This is the kind of stuff I shouldn't do on video. Huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 60. So this is the big question. What am I doing with the, P, uh, for the, with the uh, FLP or whatever? <coughs> and the F is for Faros. Um, or FCP. Uh, Copper Canyon would be awesome. Want to sell me Copper Canyon? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe for 60 bucks, you know, but that becomes really, really iffy. And it'll also help the Chihuahua, and I laid my track in the wrong direction, although I could change my mind on that at this point. I'm not really, no, I upgraded. So this track was earlier, so yeah, I can't touch this. Um, so yeah, Copper Canyon, I would have to put track, which may not exist in this game, Yeah, I don't, I don't see it. I can look in the manifest. Um, it's kind of a rare piece. It shows up in some games, and I've seen it recently, which allows you to curve this way and a, another. Oh, no, that's, that's the, the Horns of Happiness. No, that's fine. Uh, the one that I, I'm thinking of has a, a sharp curve coming off this way, and that is not present in this game. But the Horns of Happiness is in this game. It's pretty standard. So yeah, I can get to Copper Canyon uh, with a couple track lays if I buy it. Uh, I don't know that I want to. See, that would give me an option to put a dot up here in Chihuahua, which is much, much better than like a dot down here. This dot this dot feels really useless, whereas the Chihuahua dot feels like it controls the route into Mexico City. <sighs> he will probably sell me this for 60 to my company. He would probably sell it to me personally during the stock round for some amount of money. I would rather buy it right into the company. 
Um, I think I want that a great deal. I think I want that enough to pay him full price. And you never see this in 1830 for this thing. <laughs> sure he wants to do it? Yeah, why not? Okay. So he'll pay that for 60. That allows me, if I recall correctly, although I've done other things that would preclude this, but I'm not too worried about the ordering here. Uh, I can drop this piece of track down. It's not my normal limit. Um, and I have to pay 60 bucks more to lay this track but I can put it down, what is my minor? C. C is way down there, it's not really in effect. I can put this down like this. That'll cost me another 60. This is expensive. But. I think it's worth it because I really don't like the path coming down this way. So I've set this up. That's good for the Chihuahua. I want to make sure I get that track down there because I don't want somebody fucking up and blowing through there just to screw me up. Uh, but I don't know, you know, <coughs> because I'm actually helping the Chihuahua by laying it early. But I want to do it now. Um, I paid out my cash. This should be forward. And now another train. Okay. Here's the situation. I am probably going to want another train now. Oh, I'm running so far out of money. This, this may be really stupid. But I'm buying myself another 180. And now we're in phase three and a half. All the miners close. You trade in the miners for corresponding shares of NDM and UDY. And now NDM shares are available for purchase. Okay. Um, the miners, when they close, I have to look at this. I believe they just kind of vaporize. They don't turn into tokens or anything like that. Where's the historical stuff? Oh, the money goes into the corporation, whether or not the corporation is floated. Then the miners charters with their built-in two trains are removed from play for the remainder of the game. Their station tokens are also removed. They're not replaced. Okay. Southeastern miner and from the trade-in share of the UDY, but only if the UDY floated before. Yeah. Okay. So, we look at the miners. The first one here is this interoceanic, it's gonna be part of the NDM. Now, the NDM is over here. Technically, it has uh, $900 on it. I'm gonna put that there just so I don't lose track. Three, four, five, and yeah, no, I better not. Um, okay, so the money from this goes over here. I'll put it in the train space so I don't forget what I'm doing. This goes away and turns into one of these 5% shares, and this goes away too. <coughs> okay. I'm not used to there being those extras. This isn't making any money, but it has value, <laughs> which is different from the other one. Um, this next one, this one also, uh, this one also turns into the NDM. Cash goes here. Another 5% share of the NDM comes out, and this railway goes away. The third one, this is where it gets crazy. Goes up here into the crappy UDY and gets exchanged 
for a 10% share though, which isn't so bad. Okay. <coughs> so the FCP has done a lot of damage to, to, uh, to the game by buying that last, by buying that three train. And now we're done, I believe. I could buy another train, but I don't want two threes, that's for sure. That's going to be over here on the Trans-Mexican, which is running a two and a three. Um, I could lay a couple of tracks down to get me towards Mexico City, um, which may not be a bad idea. Another option would be to upgrade this and make a little bit extra money, but I think this is my best. That only costs me 20 bucks, San Luis Potosi. Big silver mine there. Uh, so that's 20 bucks out of here. Oh, forgot my 20. Hope, hope I haven't forgotten anybody's uh, money yet. Okay. I have more trains than I need. <laughs> so 50 and 50 is 10 a share at this. I'm paying out because it's still not enough. It's hard to decide what's, what's enough and what's not. Okay. 10 a share, Where, where's this coming? Everybody else is only getting one of these. Nobody would be holding two. We got an overload there, an overload there. Great. All right. Uh, that is the end of the stock round, unless, or the end of the operating round. I can't buy the Mexican National. That's sitting here until this floats. And now I'm low on T, so we're going to go to the second operating round, but I'm going to take a Significant break, I'm guessing, in between, which is kind of a shame. I kind of like to... XXs make me want to just keep playing and playing and playing. Um, I think maybe part of the, the reason that I like... Uh, that, I, that I'm not so... that I'm slower at playing games uh, now, in addition to anything else, and I had brought this up, that I'm slower at playing like my war games and stuff, is I don't get to be on camera as much. Like, <laughs> this is sort of my only form of socialization that's left. In, in terms of using my voice and speaking to people. Uh, at, at the, you know, I don't have my wife to chat with anymore. Um, don't go anywhere. So, you know, I can write online and spam with people and stuff, and that's one thing. But, uh, you know, I don't have work where I would talk on the phone. At the bar, I barely speak to anyone. You know, I'm focused on either dancing or pacing. <laughs> when there's no song I want to hear, I go outside and I pace and I smoke. Uh, and, uh, you know, what else? Uh, uh, my trip to the supermarket where I say like five, five sentences to the, the cashier or whatever. Uh, and I'm not, a, I'm not a small talk friendly person. So, you know, it's not like if I went for a walk or anything, I would engage in conversations with anyone. I have to know someone pretty well to go as, as intimate as small talk. We're going to step back a little bit. Uh, I paid out my privates for this one remaining operating round. And there are no more miners left. And now we start running the companies. And again, the National Railways. So this guy could have used his additional money to start them up. That may have been a mistake not to. Sometimes a three train is really nice to start with. Um, and I'm not sure if he had enough cash. Let, let's take a quick look. 90, 180, would have been less. It would have been 160, say. 
160. I could have sold another one of these. Nobody's interested in them. That would put me to about 200. That would let me buy two more shares. And with the two 5% out, now it would be fine. But I can't, couldn't have done it at the time. Those shares were not yet released. So, yeah. But at the end of this operating round, I'm expecting the National Railways to actually start. Um, we'll see how big they get, whether somebody folds something into them. Okay, so Gray is taking their turn, the, ne the Mexican Railway. I gotta run through here. So I've got two trains, a two and a three. The two can run here. The three, one. Oops, I cheated. <laughs> I did not see that this isn't connected yet. So this is actually the upgrade I wanna make. Okay, um, let me just do that and I'll be back. This, this run to Tampico, it becomes worthless now, right? I, I really wanted to hook that up when I had the miner. I don't have the miner anymore. The trains came too fast. Screw it. <laughs> no reason to hook it up. Uh, it, it, it's only a, it would be a 20 point city with a 10 point doinker following it. That's a dead end. Wouldn't have to be constantly a dead end, but um, it just doesn't grow into anything that appealing. We take a look at these and they don't really appear to grow either. That's a 40. Oh, that's actually not bad. So eventually a 40-20 is not necessarily bad at all. Um, but at this point, especially since it could hook up uh, to Matamoros, but at this point, this seems more valuable because I'll be running a two down here for 30, 40, 80. And then the three, 120, 150, 160, 170, 180, which is a pretty good payout. Now, I got to decide if I want to swallow this. <laughs> I'm not going to buy this extra train, but the twos die when the four comes out. So 180 bucks might not be a bad choice to dump into my pocket. Oops, forgot my 20. Yeah, this is, I don't think I've, I've aired completely yet, but it's such a hard thing to remember. <laughs> okay, so um, 180 bucks, I don't have enough for even a four train yet. Now I will probably by that point. I may also want a dot. So I am going to swallow. Technically we have to buy the dot first, but uh, so 180 gives me 205 bucks. This is not the best time to swallow. <sighs> am I worried that the four trains will come out before I get a run? It's quite possible. The National Railways might come out first. So yeah, I wanna get that cash in there before, before the two goes down. Okay, because you are allowed to buy more than one train once, once you get into the three period. Uh, so, and plus, this guy's got the possibility to juggle trains too, so I don't know. Um, so the question is, do I want a dot here or here? This one is appealing. I think I'm gonna buy that one. I had enough money on hand beforehand, so it's not an issue, uh, but order can cause problems. And there will be OCD. Not always this bad. And we'll put a dot here in Matamoros. The reason is, this might seem more valuable. It's the way up. This is a pretty valuable city. It's gonna convert to pretty valuable all on its own. It also lets me run the Tampico up to San Antonio run. Uh, San Antonio's a 60. 60 seems pretty good in this game. If I look through, you know, all the different locations, the only iffy thing is there aren't a lot of dots on the way, but hey, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I want to get that because I can avoid this. I can either crank right through there. Um, that's not so great go up this way so I get the dot, uh, or cut up through Tampico. So 
I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone as it is. So that's the Mexican. It drops back in uh, value, and now we go to the next one, which will be the Chihuahua. Finding the grip on this camera, and I'm not sure why, it feels like the same camera is a little different. So pushing uh, the start button is just a little off. Um, okay. But it looks like the same thing. So for the Chihuahua, this may have been a mistake to set this up here, especially so early. Because now, and this was something I was worried about, the Horns of Happiness can come in this way and cut the FCP out of their Copper Canyon that they were so excited to build. And then they'll have to figure out a dot here or down here or something to make that work. So that's not so hot. But, and I worried about that immediately. Let's look at what the Chihuahua's got. First of all, it gets 20 bucks. <laughs> Let's do that first before we forget. Okay. It's got two twos and a three. It's not happy. It's going to be swallowing almost certainly. Um, I've got a big two run here, a two run here. Those are both nice. And then the three run, I could upgrade Chihuahua and I'd get three hits at 30 bucks, which is kind of nice. But if I upgrade this way, I really get nothing. So I probably would want to do the Horns of Happiness just the same way the FCP wants it. What would I get if I had that? I would get 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 off that. Okay, so that would be adding, because I can get to Copper Canyon no matter what, that would be adding 30, 60 bucks to my run if I do that. If I upgrade this, it'll be going to a 30. I don't know if Chihuahua has its own little green. Apparently not. Uh, I don't know if it has its own other colors. This is, this is the annoying thing. Okay. Um, so, I'd be going up to a 30. I'd be adding 30 bucks. So I want to add the Horns of Happiness there. Uh, do I want to dot anything? This is an interesting question. Up here doesn't look terribly valuable to me. Um, so I think I want to hold on to all those dots and try to break in this way and get one down there. That's going to be harder coming up soon. But let's see. The Mexican, the Tex-Mex, has no more dots left. Gray's already in here. Blue's a potential problem, but they've got to work kind of hard. Of course, I've got to work kind of hard, too. And I'm going to hold my dots uh, because I think I want to make this connection, make the early money, and take a swallow. It's me to a 22 run. That's pretty damn good. Like I said, I was going to swallow. You know, all that extra money would be great going into my pocket, but honestly... Even though I have enough cash to buy the four train, if I need to. Nah, early money's too good. See, here, here's the thing. The Chihuahua has a fair chance. The Mexican Railway had a fair chance, sorry, of getting away before the four comes out. Because maybe the National Railways of Mexico doesn't buy the three and the four here. There's some reasons I might not want to speed things up there. But... The Chihuahua feels like it's almost certain that the four is going to have come out already, which means I'm not going to be able to swallow this run at 22. But I'll be buying a four train. There are a fair number of them. I'd rather get a five. Uh, I think there's only one of them. I, I, I'll be buying a four train, which means I'll have about as good a swallow, but I'll have all this cash coming into my my. Uh, personal treasury, and that's that's a big deal, um, because this is going to be a turn where a lot of stuff becomes available, I may be getting a second company, whatever, S or at least a lot of shares for things if I have all that cash, and what I have right now isn't enough to, to really leverage, so I am going to actually pay out that 22 a share, is this the right company? And uh, 
There's a couple of other people who have it as well. They'll be gaining too. I don't know how valuable that is. I only ended up getting 88 bucks off of it. I only have four shares. Probably should have swallowed, but... Do I want to reverse that decision? This is probably the best swallow I'm going to get. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to reverse that decision and swallow it instead. Just, you know, if I had five shares, I might have gone ahead with it, but 88 bucks just isn't very much. Okay, that puts the FCP as the next company. Now, that's sitting also on two twos and a three. Problematic situation. Almost definitely needs to swallow again. First off, I get my 30. We'll worry about change later. I can do it more when I'm off camera more easily. So I got a two train, a one, two, three train. If I increase the size, so I've got two options. I can run down to Matsalan. It's kind of interesting. Or I could increase Chihuahua and put my dot there. That might actually open up other things that I can do. Um, In particular, I'll be open to anything that Chihuahua opens up down here. Of course, I would be if I connect this as well. Uh, yeah, it keeps me closer to uh, Ciudad Juarez, El Paso, and other things. I think it's more important. Let's take a look at what Matsalan turns into. It turns into a 4020. That's not bad, but... We don't know. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to go into the Chihuahua space because that puts me kind of in the same world as them. And it's kind of nice when two companies have a synergy like that. Sure, they might be competing. Uh, one thing it might do, though, is have Chihuahua would want to make a connection opening up here. But now somebody else with dots would be in a position to then finishing opening it up and dropping the dot they want here. And unless you get to the gray city, there are no more uh, three open slots. So I would lose connection to Mexico City, which is so important. Quite often, the important thing is the entrance or gateway um, to the major city. Now, there is another entrance way down here. It might be a big blast to get through there. But it's actually kind of appealing. Because if you look... These kind of tracks, and the other one, wow, these are, these are different, like different in weird ways. So one of them's got four open spaces, but it's only worth 50. The other one has three open spaces and is worth 60. My guess is this is the one that gets played the most often. All the track is the same, which is not what I was expecting. Um, that feels a little bit like... Uh, the Swedish rails or whatever, where you can fuck around with, or maybe it's Moon or Mars, I don't know, uh, where you can fuck around with the valuations. It, it's got to be, it's got to be one of the space ones, where, where you put the little T's and stuff, and values changed based on that. This, this has that kind of feeling to it, um, but I suspect it'll always go to the three open spaces one. Um, kind of depends. If you got a lot of companies that you want to run through Mexico City. You might want to keep it completely open, uh, but I don't know. If you've got a gateway, that tends to be very, very important. Um, these cities tend to fill up, but they tend to be less important than the way in or out of the city. Okay, uh, so where was I? I'm on the FCP. We were going to upgrade Chihuahua and put a dot. Now, the good old TCP is able to make a 25 run because I upgraded Chihuahua. Otherwise, its run is the same as the Chihuahua line, although I have more options available. Uh, I went with this way because, hey, maybe I want to go down this way. I don't know. I, it really doesn't make any difference. It's through a big mountains into here, probably up this way, no matter what. Uh, so, <laughs> and this way, I, I don't particularly want to open that up. Uh, <laughs> although it might be important if I lose this, but there's no, no track here, so who cares? Okay, although I could do two runs um, coming in through Chihuahua, if it's that important. Um, 
So with that 25 run, do I want to pay out? I have less money than other people. I'm going later. Although I have more shares and I would pull in a good amount of money, I too am going to choose to swallow. Now, what's kind of interesting about this kind of thing is that and I didn't I didn't take my money. I didn't take my 30, did I? Maybe I did. 30 sounds reasonable. I think I did grab it already. Okay. We might be screwed. Um I don't think I took my 10 though. I think I only took the companies down here. I forgot that a company changed hands between players. Um, not directly between players, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, there was something I wanted to say. I don't know what the hell it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a certain synergy between the player's decisions. So the fact that this guy swallowed made it all the more important that these guys swallow because the train rush is going to come faster at this point. And it may come very fast from what I've heard about the game. We'll see. <laughs> I, that would not fit with the sort of buffered style that I immediately assumed about this game, but it's actually turning out to be a kind of nice little harsh game um, for different reasons than 1830 is. Uh, but in some ways, like the fact that this got dropped, man, that wouldn't have happened in an 1830 game. It happened here because I had the assumptions that the trains were gonna come out a little slower. Uh, because there were some guard, guide rails on the, on the way. But now they're off and all the companies are rushing hard. Now the SP, which breaks its way in here, that'll give it options to go every which way, except up here, all oh, those poor guys. <laughs> well, I'm not planning on starting a company soon. <laughs> okay. Um, and I have a, fo a $40 token I could drop but I can't put it up here. And Matsalan just doesn't look that valuable to me. Even if I hook this up, I'm not, I'm not sure it is. So I'm gonna withhold my tokens. I only have three with the SP. It's not as big as the Chihuahua and the FCP. Uh, but I do get to run one, two. And I guess up this way. 10 bucks more. So 20, 30, 40, 70 bucks. That's a shitty run, so we're not gonna we're not gonna swallow that. And we'll just pay that out at seven a share. But again, I forgot to give them their 20 bucks. They didn't get it last time because oh we got the mail contract on there. That's kind of nice. Uh, we didn't we didn't uh, get it last time because we didn't have a train, and that's a requirement. We're the poor man in terms of the trains, right? We have only a three train. Everybody else has at least two trains on the board. Uh, but <laughs> we do not want to buy a second three train. Two three trains is problematic in this game and always has been, like in the 1830 based games. Um, it, it always has been. Just the way the trains end up falling, and this one looks like it's going to be similar, although there's less fives and stuff like that. But the six is killing the threes, and you're only allowed two trains, I believe. We we'll allowed three trains. Did I fuck something up? I hope I didn't fuck it up. I'm so used to there being three trains at the at, at at this stage. Yeah, we're allowed three trains. Um, the NDM can hold four, and then it goes down to two trains when the fours come out. Yeah, that's that's more or less what I'm used to. So, all these companies with two trains on them. I, 
like two two trains or one two train, two two trains, um, we'll be losing them. So they'll they'll be within you know these guys with a three and two twos, they'll be within range. They'll they'll be within the the limits. Uh, but if I have two threes, I'm going to be allowed to have those through the fours and through the five, well, for the rest of the game, but when the six comes out, all my, two, all my threes would go away and I'd lose a run. So I would much rather get a three and a four if I'm gonna have uh, another non-permanent train. Or, if trains fall fast enough, maybe I'll get a permanent train on the Southern Pacific somehow magically. We can hope. Uh, and the poor, poor wrecked company. Look up here to see uh, what my what my home city is because I got a couple of dots and I wasn't sure which one, uh, so that I can collect my money. Just to let you know, I actually did it for them. Um, but what are they gonna do? They're running a two and a three. I got a one, two, three, and a one, two. That's all pretty clear and nice and good. However. I could get a dot either here or in Mexico City itself. No one's gone into Mexico City, but I think uh, I think this is the time for me to drop a dot here. If I do that, I can run a one, two, doink, and a one, two, three. And that looks pretty rich to me. This dot looks, uh, space looks so important that I want that dot. So I'm going to upgrade this and dot that. Oh, I forgot I was out of dots. All right, so I just upgrade this and I'm left with a stupid run. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, one, two. That's all I can do. Uh, is there anything I can do that's better? Maybe, but I, in the long term, maybe, but in the short term, I want to do this. So I'm looking at 50, 60, 70, 100, 110, 140, which is crap. I have very little money. A swallow doesn't really seem worth much. I'm going to pay out. I need money for the national railways. And lots of people get cash for that. 14 goes in the tr company treasury, though. So that's the end of the uh, of the operating round, but there is something interesting. And no, I'm not buying a train. Uh, there is something interesting in play here. We're going to go up here, and I'm going to put the die there because uh, I've got my addiction on an auto run, and it should be done by now. Um, this company... I only have 30% of it. I drop another share up into there. Um, let somebody take it if they want it. If they don't want it, it's a perfect uh, candidate for crashing into the national railways of Mexico. Getting that 10% share would be fantastic. But here's the problem. I'm not allowed to do it if I... Uh, I'm the one who owns the National Railways, if I recall correctly. <laughs> Which sucks. Uh, I think that's the way it works. No, wait, 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 wait. Now, the president of the NDM is never allowed to merge another major into it. Yeah. So... I may want to lose my presidency <laughs> of this other company so that I'm able to divest in this. And that may mean that I'm starting another company this next turn if I have the cash to do so. I have a couple of good shares. I have the National Railways. But it's got to float. And somebody's got to hold 20%. Right now, nobody's got more than 5 uh, for me to be able to do this. That sucks. Moreover, even if I engineered all that, maybe someone else 
Remember, it's the person who buys the first five trade. It's the next player in, pl in player order who gets to choose whether or not they want to merge first. So if somebody else is in bad shape for some reason or another, or just wants to be a total asshole, <laughs> probably not the case. It's probably somebody who's in really bad shape. They could merge in before me and screw me over. So I don't think I can count on being able to do that. So I think I'm going to be playing around trying, trying to get that. Okay, on to the stock round. This is turning out to be a really interesting game. Um, I, I don't know about this particular, you know, the play that I'm doing, but I'm finding the way the mechanisms interact in this one uh, is doing things that I did not expect from an 18xx. I, that's kind of the bar now, right? You know, it doesn't always have to be, but there, every 18xx has to bring something new to the table. That's kind of one of the reasons I didn't really like AL and GA. I didn't feel like they brought anything new to the table except a little bit mellower than 1830. Um, some of them bring something that's not fun to the table, but, but this one's bringing something that I'm enjoying watching uh, play out, and I think that's actually really cool. Uh, it's even hard to put my finger on on what it is because, I mean, obviously the way the National Railway works and the playing around to try to or arrange that, that's something that's, you know, just added chrome that has special effects. That's like a lot of the games add something uh, fancy to themselves that might impact play a lot. But what I kind of feel is that between the terrain um, and just sort of the arrangement of the, the amount of trains and whatnot, I'm in a position where I'm facing a game that isn't reacting quite how I would have expected just from the addition of the National Railways. So uh, that, that's a serious plus, honestly. Okay, so with no possibility of being able to dump the Tex-Mex into the National Railways, I guess the only real option is try to make the National Railways rich enough to bail it out. <laughs> it's not a great option, but um, I'm kind of stuck with this. The only other option is if I could lose control of this, then I could dump it in and maybe start something else. But <laughs> that doesn't look like I'm going to get that chance. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot to check the sound on this. Apparently uh, somebody noticed there's um, some weird noise. That may actually be... So, some of it is my pipe. That If I have this sucker in my mouth, I, I sound worse. But there was also some other noises. Those other noises, I think, are my heater and this light, which is buzzing like mad and just does that. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. I don't really think that uh, it's the camera itself. We'll, we'll try when I'm in a, in a different situation, but... Okay. Um, so I bought a National Railway of Mexico. I chose not to sell either the Chihuahua or Pacific. They're both making good money. I may lose an opportunity if somebody dumps them where I need to get another share out. But right now, I think I'm okay, because I've got a hundred bucks that'll let me buy the fourth share of the Mexican. Okay, four, that's not enough. Yeah, except there's two 5% shares out. So that gets me to 50%. So I should be fine no matter what with these holdings. I'm gonna hold the Tex-Mex. I don't particularly wanna dump it, uh, although I kinda don't mind doing so. <laughs> um, might actually not be a bad idea, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, so this guy has, the Tex-Mex, but he also has the National Railways. Neither of those, the Tex-Mex is in yellow, the National Railways is a half share. Neither of those count against your certificate limit, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'm used to the half shares counting, just like these count one, uh, just like presidencies count as one. So I don't have a hell of a lot of money. I have enough for one share of something. What companies would I like? Well, my feeling is I look at the trains and I say, well, the FCP and the, and the Chihuahua are both doing well. The FCP did a little better, but they're really in the same place. So either one of them would be okay. Here's one problem, though. The I'm, I'm probably going to buy a Chihuahua. Uh, yep. The uh, 
the two trains may not get a chance to run because the Mexican uh, National goes first out of everything. Then the SP, both of which might be buying trains, <coughs> which means, I don't know, you know, all those twos might be gone. Uh, so they're not going to make as much money. But my two will be gone too. And these guys have more money. I think the Chihuahua is better situated with the token. So as a long run purchase, I will buy that. Um, it only costs 80 bucks. Well, that's what it's worth. <laughs> so no big shock there. But yeah, I'm making uh, that decision. Now that makes the Chihuahua more attractive to everyone because it's closer to selling out too. Weirdness in this game that I feel like I need to come in more often than I normally would. So the Chihuahua here, he also bought a Chihuahua. We get to this guy. Now he's got his Pacific Railroad. He can't sell shares of it. He's at 50%. Somebody could end up taking it over if he does that. He's got this Tex-Mex. It's not worth a hell of a lot. He's only got 115, 119 bucks in pocket which is enough for a share of something. Sixty-nine would not... I mean, I could buy two shares of Tex-Mex if I want to own it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so there's nothing um, really appealing out there that I necessarily want to buy. question is, do I want to buy a Chihuahua? Um, I, what I'd really like to do is get this uh, UDY started. I have a share of it. It's worthless to me. It could get crashed into the national railways. Because nobody's going to choose to knock anything in. Which means, if no one agrees to merge, the president of the NDM has to choose an unfloated eligible company whose president certificate he does not own and merge it into the NDM. He must choose one if possible whose president certificate is in the initial offering. That's a really good reason to try to get it in there, uh, to get the company, you know, at least to get the certificate out. But I don't know, man. But it's almost certain that, you know, if both of these are still available, if both of presidencies are still available, that, and that looks likely, that I'd screw over this one. So is it worth a hundred and twenty is what I'd need. I don't have that. Is it worth floating, uh, getting the presidency of the UDY started so I don't lose this share? That's a good question. Because if I put that out there, then somebody would have to start the Mexican Central. And I don't see anybody with the kind of cash on hand and the desire to start it. So I'd be able to protect my share by buying that. Of course, my share is not going to increase in value. Whereas if I buy a Chihuahua, it's going to increase in value. I think I want to do this. I don't want to buy it at, you know, well, 60, but <laughs> I can't even do that. 55. Can't sell any of this. Can't sell that. It doesn't have a value. All I have is this Tex-Mex, so I'll get 50 bucks for that. And that puts me to 169, which mean, means I can start it at 80 bucks. This is, this is so whacked. 80 bucks, and I'll spend all my money and, you know, protect a share. I'm saving myself 80 bucks, which is probably more than I would make off of, say, I bought, you know, one of these guys. Even if it made 25 on the first round, it's not going to make 25 on the second. It's going to make about 40 bucks total, maybe 50 at most. So saving that 80 bucks seems like a good deal. And then the final player buys himself a Mexican Railway uh, share. It's the only one he doesn't own out of everything. Could buy a Southern Pacific, but you know, there's no real reason to. I'm not going to sell it out or anything. Which puts me back to here. Uh, he's not, he, his only real choice is to start the, the National Railway. Um, I got 90 bucks. 
I could throw another 50, I could get to 140, wait, 150, 175. That'll let me buy another share of something. Anyway, uh, I'll sell this, or I'll buy this for the 90 and float the National Railway. And we are going to see a merger because not all the rails are going to be sold out. Um, and it's going to be this guy that merges, I guess. We go around. Anybody got anything they really want to do? Uh, I got 45 bucks here. It's not enough to slip my throat. So we come back around. He has enough money. Dumps this in. Somebody want it? It's yours, man. Take it. Two shares worth one share of the National Railway, uh, the, the National Mexican, I, maybe, you know? Okay, so I sold that. That gets me 75, 80 bucks. That's enough money to buy myself one share of something. Um, I really like how the Southern Pacific is set in terms of total cash. It doesn't look like it's gonna need to swallow right away at least. Um, some of the others may be appealing too, <laughs> but let's invest in the guy who screwed us. It doesn't really do anything for them. It's going to move priority over here, and I look around and I don't see anybody who's going to do anything exciting at this point. So we slide down two operating rounds per, and the privates are still there, so they'll still pay out. This, most of the games... The, so, most of the games that have miners and privates, the two kind of, that I'm used to, the two kind of crash at the same time. Uh, sometimes the miners have an option to fold into something else, like in 1835, the, national, the, uh, the, the Prussian. Um, then there are weird games like uh, 2038, where the miners can do many different things. They have a whole bunch of neat options. I really like the stock options there. What I don't like about that game is I don't like the, the means of uh, determining your routes. It's just too painful. It's like the most painful route ma uh, uh, selection game out of all of the XX games. But there are, there are some that, that really get up there in terms of twisty ties of track and everything. But 2038, you have so many different uh, ship, uh, spaceships out there, and they can all basically go over a lot of different territory because they move and pick up and deliver stuff instead of, um, instead of transiting standard trackways. Let's take a look at the Mexican uh, National. Unlike other privates, it may not be sold. The MNR closes when the NMD, uh, NDM buys its first train. Okay, so that works the same as the BNO. I just wanted to make sure of that. Uh, among other things, because I keep collecting income for it. And then there's one kicking over there. Even though I used its ability, it doesn't close it, if I recall correctly. Maybe I better look that up. <laughs> should have done it before I exchanged my money. Um, if not, I lost, I lose more money off that company. Let's just make sure of that. Uh, Laying the tile does not close the case yet. Okay, cool. Um, so I've paid out the privates, and now my first company is actually the, Me the National Railway, because it was there, even though it wasn't operating yet, it was there before the Southern Pacific got there. So time to start thinking. But one thing is that goes there. All right, I figured out what was wrong with my grip on the camera. Um, there's a little strap, and I didn't have it as tight as I had on my other one, so I, I can kind of rely on that to hold my hand in place. I need to tighten a little bit more, but that's the key issue there. So maybe we'll be able to figure out the sound issue if it's the camera. Um, okay, so the situation with the National Railway is complex. And, you know, I've got to keep in mind that I've got this thing, but I don't know how much I care about that thing. So... The first thing is <laughs> what my run is going to be. I could slap a token down there for 40 bucks and 
that would get me the in out of this area. If I do that, I cut off the Tex-Mex. However, I don't think the Tex-Mex is gonna be able to get this token anyhow. Someone else is going to break into it first. All it takes is connecting through here. There's not a piece to connect up here, but connecting through here, and there's three different companies that go before me that can do that. So I'm gonna buy that token. Uh, track lay. Um, I don't see anything I terribly want to do, although maybe I want to spend money to start hooking up uh, the route for the Tex-Mex. The other option would be, no, assuming Tampico can be hooked up. Again, this may be a situation like I fucking had there. Yeah, Tampico can be hooked up. Um, and this is like this. I assume I can put this, well, no, I can put it this way, and that's it. So it actually only has one direction. However, uh, this is not that time. This one is the one that has to go. Which means I can't do this, right? Because, and, and, and this, is, this is a mistake. This should be printed so that it goes up here, I think. Because, no, no, it should be printed so it goes down here. So I could play the Tampico piece there, and that would start me on my way, and I could actually spend 80 bucks and just hook this all up and let the Tex-Mex go through there, which might be my best option. Uh, another possible option is to build Veracruz, but I don't think I really need to do that. So let's get, uh, let's get a couple of tracks and just lay I still get to lay two yellows. There's nothing that stops that. And then I spend another 40. Huh. More reds, I guess. And get my dot here. Is Mexico City open? No, it's still not open to the Tex-Mex, but it's at least possible for it to open up. Um, if we take a look at these guys, they're both exactly the same track, which is fucked up, uh, but there's a route coming in this way, assuming I don't end up getting in through a different direction. Is it the best thing? I don't know. <laughs> and now I gotta buy a train, and this is the other complexity in this whole setup. So, maybe I wanna buy a train from the Tex-Mex, or maybe not, <laughs> don't know. Um, I could buy the crappy two train and essentially just pour money into the Tex-Mex. I can actually just leave it that way. I have two shares of this and, you know, see what happens. Because nobody else is really in a position to buy a train. Of course, that would leave me with the shittiest runs of all and with this. Uh, with four shares of the National Railways. This is going to go away. I'm not going to be able to keep that no matter what because I am hooked up automatically by being in Mexico City. So, and I don't get a, a mail contract. Yay, I thought about that. Um, so, what that leaves me is, is this sort of problem. I could buy that two train and then buy a three and a four because I have an extra space in trains. So right now, train limit, train limit is listed here. Train limit is three, I can hold up to four trains. So I could buy that deuce, get some money into the Tex-Mex and buy the three and the four, which is sort of the standard move that I would take and maybe the only one I can really take. Uh, As an alternative, I could buy a train off the Tex-Mex for a lot of money and leave myself with kind of a shitty setup. Uh, what I don't want to do is buy that last three and not buy the four because then somebody else will. So I think I'll just take the standard move. So I'm gonna, it's gonna cost me 480 bucks for that train. 
I'm gonna actually pay that out, or for those two trains, and grab those two trains. But don't worry, I'm buying the two before I get to that. I just wanna do this for my own edification. And there's only one, no, there's two fives. So there's only one six, no, there's two sixes. Huh. I thought there was only one of one of these. Okay. Now, what you'll notice is the three trains rusted by the six, the four trains are obsoleted by the second six. I thought maybe they were, uh, they were, they were different. Like one of them was, obs was rusted and one was obsoleted or something. So I'm gonna have these two, and this is the money I have left that I could pay here. This thing, I really wanna have about $450 on here, but it's gonna run and it's gonna produce money. So, but maybe not a hell of a lot of money. This isn't going to have an easy way to get money, but I may have to swallow with it. Ooh, that would suck. Um, three fifty. I'm not going to have four fifty on here. Which means with a three and a four, what am I going to make? It's going to be decent money. Let's take a look at what that's going to mean. Uh, 70, maybe 80 there, unfortunately. 120, 150, 160, 190. I'm going to make about 200 bucks, somewhere in that 200 range. Well, i got to be able to do better than that. So let's say it's 250. So let's say I swallow 250. That means I leave about 200 bucks on here. take the rest of this. Whatever amount I just paid went for a two train. But now I just bought the four train. But the three, then the four, which means all the twos are now discarded. Um, I've got a little bit of money on both my companies, which means I should be able to survive. I'm not sure that this is particularly a good set up in any way, but it, it, it's what I could manage. Um, now I've bought a train, so this goes away. And I go back in value. And that was kind of an expensive single, you know, operating round for a company. Uh, in terms of thought process and whatever. So that's going to put me over on the SP and I need to to do something with my addiction, unfortunately. My rain addiction is pissing me off right now, but uh, I want to get a little bit more done here. I would like to get this operating round done at the very least before I go to bed, but I'm tired already. I got a hell of a lot to do in that. All right, to the Southern Pacific. Tons of money. Probably want to get a four train, although I'm not positive, because my track situation don't look so good anymore. I thought I'd be breaking in up here. Right now, I could run a two train between these, or I could hook something up and run it elsewhere. I could also keep in mind the Mexico City situation, which I believe, yeah, Toluca's here. It, everything's open, so I could hook right in, which would make my space very important in the long run. And that's appealing. Um, so, what can I hit right now that's of value? Um, here, I'm looking at 50, 60, 70. 40, 50, 60. <laughs> I could add 10 to either of those. And that would be kind of useful because it would get me so I could push into Mexico City more easily. Uh... I could break in up here, but neither of these help me terribly, although this way actually does. So I could go 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Get a little bit more money 
for a track that maybe somebody else will play. So I think I'm going to upgrade this, which will get me the 80 as well, uh, and run that. Give me, I forgot again. I only that was only a 20 town to put that in play. Uh, I paid out because 80 is shit. And now I think I want to buy a train. Um, but I'm not positive. <laughs> because there's only two four trains left. And I've got a good shot at getting a permanent. You know what? I'm going to hold off and not buy the train. I'm going to run that shit. And you can see how the trains are going to hit hard and fast. Of course, there's always a, ah, uh, geez, who wants that last four train uh, aspect to it? Right now, there's a bunch of companies running a three train with the National Railway running a three and a four. We might be at a point where nobody's willing to bite the bullet and buy that four train, either of them, to tell you the truth, because they're both non-permanent. The, the second one, though, is really bad, right? Because it lasts even less time, perhaps. But, you know, we'll see. 